Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. Today, we're cutting an Easter log that's full of surprises. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Before we get into it today, it is Easter, so I hope you guys are enjoying the day with all your families. Also, I wanna give you guys a big shout out for helping us grow this channel to what it is today. It would not be as successful if it wasn't for you guys. But right now would be a great time for you guys to subscribe if you aren't already. If you see the little subscribe button below this channel, make sure you click that, and that way you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Follow me over to the tractor and I'll show you what we're cutting today on the sawmill. Since today is Easter, I figured what better way to celebrate than cut into this beautiful Eastern red cedar log. This log is four and a half feet long by 20 inches wide, and these would make some beautiful coffee table slabs. So I'm gonna cut it into nine quarter slabs. The last time we cut it a log about this size, those slabs sold like crazy just within a couple days. So I know this one will as well. So I'm gonna get up on the sawmill and I'm super excited to see what we find in this log today. Let's get cutting. To cut this log today, I'm gonna to be using a 10 degree blade from Woodmiser. If you guys are out there running sawmills and need some blades, I highly recommend you check out the link in the description below where you'll find all the blades Woodmiser has to offer. All right, just made my first two cuts. Let's break her open, see what we're working with. Oh, beautiful red color. Well, that's not gonna fit there. Oh, nice. Let's see what this one's looking like. Ooh. Let me get my scraper real quick. Oh, nice. We got some nice red color here. Look at that. That is beautiful. This one's a little bit wider than the top cut. That'll make a great, this would even make good uh, like entry tables, anything of that size. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of voids in here. We can fill with epoxy. Oh, nice. These next cuts are gonna be even even more beautiful. Let me scrape this off. Oh yeah. See some more epoxy voids in here. Oh, cool. 
All right, I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. Let's start making our next cuts. All right, we just made our third cut. Let's see what we're working with. See, oh, what is that? Is that an Easter egg? That must be why they call this Eastern Red Cedar. How the heck did that get in there? I wonder what else we're gonna find in this log. Wow, that was crazy. We're gonna get the slab off of here. See what we got. No, there are a ton of voids. That's okay, we sell super clear, so it'd be perfect for some epoxy. I'm gonna move this out of the way over here. And I'm gonna keep cutting. Let's see what the slab looks like. Oh, what the heck? How'd that get in here? Oh my gosh, it's a cute Easter bunny. How'd you get in there? That must have been where that Easter egg came from. Easter bunny in an Easter red cedar. You're cute! Man, that was crazy. This Easter log is full of surprises. Let's get the slab off the mill and finish cutting the log. Okay, so we got our log flipped over and we made our last cuts. We got three more nice slabs out of this log. I'm gonna take these slabs off the mill and I'll show you what we got. Oh, 
Oh, nice. It's a good size slab. Perfect entry, entryway table slab. Super happy with how these slabs turned out. All right, this one's gonna be one of our other widest slabs. So I'm gonna set this one over here so you guys can see it. Very nice. All right, now this one, this one has more voids in it, which we like here because we have Super clear epoxy. There we go. These are the two widest slabs out of that cedar log. I'm gonna grab the hose, spray them down so you can see the true color. Man, that's some pretty cedar. That's some pretty Eastern red cedar we got here. Beautiful slabs. All this right here, all those voids, put epoxy in those. Those are gonna make gorgeous tables. Can't wait to see what this turn out to be. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed watching me cut this beautiful Eastern red cedar. Drop a comment in the comment section below this video what you thought about this beautiful log and what you thought about our Easter surprises. Once again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you in the next one.